Hello and welcome to episode 2 on the Fibercraft server. You can see I am all geared up and ready to get into some business. Right behind me you can see we've got some more villagers going on for us. Got enough to enchant all our gear currently. What I have on is just the basic enchants from this guy, which I got because I don't want to waste diamonds on all this sweet loot. But we do have a few more spots to fill, which I do hope to get into over the next week. But for now, I think it's time to get into building the second floor on the starter house. Let's go! Okay, we have finished the upper floor of the starter house and our new building as well. Inside here is our farmhouse. You'll see we have potatoes, carrots, as well as beets and wheat. With these we're gathering up to trade with our villagers over there to get even more emeralds. Now behind this building you'll notice we're in the process of working on a little bit of terraforming here. Making this hill go up and around over the top and then have a nice cliff with a waterfall cascading down. And if you follow the waterfall down, it'll come down into this river flowing all the way down. And our idea is eventually to have it come down through this little thing we've made before. And then all the way out into the ocean. Probably right around there. Unfortunately, we did not have time to finish putting in all of the villagers into the trading hall this week. But I did get a couple new ones in. We will finish that next week. But that's going to do it for me. Let's move on to our next member of the server, Herobrine. Now do I see some changes over here? Just in the entrance to the base and there is a path now. Follow this path, well lit, nicely decorated. Big fan of this. This slab trick is a very nice thing and whenever I do paths, I want to implement that. You'll notice that they aren't in my base currently, but we haven't finished that path yet. Okay, this has changed a lot. I really like where this is going. Got the animal farm from before. Nice 
decorations going on in here. I love this spiraling path around both sides of it. Got the farms from before, now well decorated. Oh wow. Got all the beet and wheat. <laughs> Got pumpkins looking really nice. The bees from before, now flying around the island. Got the house. And now when you're in the house, you'll notice there have been some changes in here. Got some expansion that you can see is working on happening. We got this giant map now. There's still the one over there that did actually get a little bigger, but there's also this new one, which shows everything that's going on. We got the path I was walking down at the beginning, and then there's the, the farm farm building, and then the house. But yeah, this progress is starting to look pretty nice. We got the horse back here, and another entrance to the house, which I did not see before. Well that, that's new. That's a nice, convenient place to have an entrance to the house. I really do like having those candles on the fence posts. I think that looks really nice. And I like the direction this room is headed. I do believe that's all over here at Herobrine's base. Now, let's head on over to the one, the only, Fanatic. We now have a new method of transport that Fanatic built that goes all the way from Herobrine's base over there we got in my base over here, all the way down to Fanatic's base, way down the end of this bridge. And we are pushing the battery at the chunks, but as you can see, we are now here. Now as I understand it, this place has changed quite a bit. I've been over here a couple times this week, I already see some new stuff in the background. Now I can see Fanatic's been doing some enchanting. I know that he's been wanting to not have to spend any diamonds on his tools or armor. Which means that he showed me right in this house over here. If you break this plank, trading hall. I really love this room. And there's some very useful guys in here. Nothing too spectacular yet going on for him. Just normal guys, but you can see we got all of the armor. We've got sword and an axe. And then we've got all of the other diamond tools. All in a line for him. Which means that he doesn't have to spend a single diamond on his tools. And I'm I'm working to get there as well. Now over here we've got the wheat and potato farms. I assume those are for the villagers. Even more sugarcane. I don't know how that farm is still growing. But then you can see this. I was notified I missed this last week. There's a nice bridge over here. This bridge leads all the way across to Fanatic's sheep farm. Nothing too special. A giant pen with a lot of sheep. Now sheep are very rare in the area that I live. So I might need to steal a couple of these when we build our animal farms this next week. Now I do believe that is it over here this week. So let's go take a peek at Shadow Flame's base. Okay, welcome to Shadow Flame's base. You'll notice that the hut got an expansion. We've now got storage as well as a crafting table. This is the best innovation I have seen in a long time. Not much has changed with this outline yet, although there are a few oak planks here, or oak logs here. There is a pillar of oak logs, but then I did notice when I was here earlier this week that there was something new just beyond this hill. There it is, over there. 
we've got some farms over there. And also, some farms over here. And there's this little kind of hut thing going on here. With some more storage. Copper, looking nice. And a furnace, and some crafting stuff. Started to expand a bit. Get intensive, nice resources. Wheat, carrots. I think I saw some potatoes, maybe. Got the berries. Uh-oh. Nighttime. I am excited to see what's gonna happen to this area as the time progresses. Although, I do believe that I think is it over here at Shadow Flames base. Let's go on to my next little clip that I have for ya. Uh, we seem to be in a bit of a predicament. Ah, ah, so I don't know what this is- Oh, why did you- Oh, oh, what is happening? What are you doing? Oh, freedom. And now we have to fix that. Wait, hold up, what? This time. My brain is confused. Well, working on this. Um, so anyway, welcome to the spawner room. We've got two spawners I've not seen in the past episode. Uh, one skeleton one. One zombie one. This one is in the up currently. Goes down, up, around, and bang. Hit them in here. Then back here, items get sorted. We just built this, but we're gonna this one currently. Um, get sorted over here into our nice little storage system. The zombie one we're gonna make into a copper pot. It'll turn them into drying somewhere over there. And yeah, that's this project in a nutshell. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Let's see. Hi, I borrowed your boats to get back to my base price I I owe you. That's a little expensive, don't you think? Thanks, Shadow. I feel like this is a little expensive of a price for for a boat. See what that leads to. Lots of IOUs going around the server these days. On that note, I do believe that is all for today. Can't wait to finish all of my projects that I have planned for today, like the cliff, the villagers, the copper farm down below, and also to see what other people complete. But that's gonna do it today. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.